Hey Kimmy, uh, this is what I was talking about when I talked about creating a ping sequence and cheating a crowd in the background. Basically, just create your crowd scene on an empty stage. You don't have to worry about the uh, grid there. Get your characters. These are some old G5 characters, biblical characters. Uh, you can create a big crowd by modifying you know, their clothing and all that. And, or create a bunch of little crowds that you put together and uh, get the camera close, position your camera so you're using up the frame and uh, you can choose to use shadows or not depending on how you're going to place the finished product you might turn some shadows off and some shadows on uh, so you'll have to play with that to decide where you're going to place your crowd once they're rendered but what I do is then go over to render and I render an image ping sequence like so and uh, then render that out export that then you're going to bring that animation file into your nonlinear editing software I use uh, Vegas Pro and so here is that sequence right here and I've rendered that and so obviously it's you know it's a uh, rendered sequence out that's now an, an audio visual file it can be an animation file but it's going to end up being flat now what I do with my software is create a way to uh, and you'll have this capability is create an alpha mat and you'll create a mat channel like so and uh, so I render it one time uh, hold on, let me go down and find my files uh, da, 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 da. It's over on H. Video files, animation, QB tests. Here we go. There's the image sequence. That's a ping sequence. A ping has what we call an alpha channel, so the background becomes transparent. And here's the final rendered. Here is a uh, rendered as a Windows Media video. No audio is associated. So there's the file rendered out as a Windows media file which will load into iClone and here is the mat like so okay and then I go back into iClone and let's go into over here and I'm going to load in what I rendered and let me just find that video file again here we are I'm going to drag hold down the control key, drag this into the frame and uh, then I'll need to uh, select that file and obviously it's a flat video file then I'm going to go over to the modify panel and load in that opacity map and now uh, we have our characters. Now in some situations you might see the edge you might see a faint line if you do I can show you how to easily get rid of that uh, you just go down to your UV mapping down here planar mapping uh, and you will make a little adjustment here to get rid of that if you do see it you probably you may not but now we have a really low polygon since it's only now one polygon but you render a bunch of these different crowd scenes out you can stick them in the background behind uh, your character your actual characters in iClone your 3d characters and so we we'll go over here to uh, this other camera and here we go for so set up a little scene and uh, there they are in the background here's my actual 3D character here and see so if you had a bunch of these uh, you can create a pretty busy looking crowd in the background depending on where you put them obviously keeping them uh, in the distance uh, and as I said if, depending on the shadow that may be a problem so you might want to not render shadows or render shadows and obviously render a bunch of different types and you can have a pretty big crowd milling around the background put your 3D characters here in between and that way you can get away with a, uh, a lot more people in your scene and not have to have everybody a 3D character 
they're in the bit if they're in the distance uh, not a problem now obviously you can't do too much movement you can do some movement on your camera but obviously if you move your camera too much you'll see they are simply flat polygon they're simply a flat polygon so that's what I'm talking about when I say render a ping sequence that's potential so I hope that helps